Hello, hello, Cancer. This is your reading for the month of April. I'm a little early on it. Just thought I'd get a, uh, what is it called? The handle of it before, uh, airy season. Doing that a little bit early. Have some time on my hand. Got a couple days off. Have to go back to work tomorrow. Yay for me. Um, but it's been nice, um, taking things easy. Um, do keep in mind with the whole craziness with the coronavirus that, you know, it, it's easy to get into the doom of things and the fear of things, but try not to stay focused there too long. Just try to be initiative, take good precautions of your health. Um, a lot of people are saying stay inside. I just feel like no one else has a cancer. We can't stay t inside forever. I mean, yeah, it's our home place, but it's like we got to move on in our life. You know, we got to focus on other things besides the coronavirus that just is kind of BS in my opinion. I, I just feel like a lot of things in social media and the news likes to dramatize things. I mean, it possibly could be out there. Um, I just personally don't know anybody that has it. I don't know about you, Cancer, but I'm just moving on with my life, focusing on other things, but taking precautions, of course. Um, so do what's best for you, I say. Um, cancers don't even like to be told what to do sometimes. They just do their own things, right? All right, so I'm putting the cards together, shuffling them and stuff, making sure we have a clear... Um, reading for you guys. Um, cancers out of most of the zodiacs have been going through a lot of transformation, a lot of rebirth. I recently had a dream where my sister had a baby, uh, but she can't even have babies anymore. I just thought it was funny. I'll tell you the story. I'm f uh, flushing, oh, flushing, shuffling the cards for you guys. Um, anyway, she was on the bunk bed, the bed broke, her water broke, and it was weird because the baby um, was licking their blood off of them. I thought that was really strange, and later on I was thinking about it. Um, I feel like it's pretty much something that I've been going through, you know, licking our wounds going into this dark place mentally, feeling like we don't have a purpose in life, feeling like, you know, maybe almost suicidal thoughts or suicidal tendency. I do feel like on a larger scale of things, we've had to face our inner demons, our inner conflicts with people, situations, uh, questioning our love relationships. And I feel like you know, we're coming out of it on the other side, but I do feel like there's different majority of cancers. And we've had to isolate ourselves for some time to really regrow and mature. And it's like we're at our infant stage, I feel like, especially with that one dream, you know. We've done a lot of the work. We're really, you know, stepping in to our power, I feel like, as Cancerians. Um, I also do feel like there could be some insecurities that's still coming up or fears, a lot of fears I'm feeling. Um, but it's time to act. It's time to not live in the past. You know, we've had to go through a lot of past um, revelations of the th past, a lot of clarity of the past. And I feel like if you're the cancer that's still stuck there, which it's easy to get stuck there, but don't stay there too long. Um, if you're the type of cancer who just is straddling the fence and have no idea what you're doing in life, whether you're single, married, or in a relationship, one of the two, I do feel like, you know, to be a cancer right now is they have their challenges. And I do feel like April, you know, is fire energy, which isn't too bad for you guys. Um, Aries is more, more round to what cancers could be. Um, I don't really feel like there could be difficulties in April. I do feel like finish and completions of things that you've been working on and projects that you've been working on for a long time. I do feel like April is your payout week, payday or payout week. I don't know why that's coming up. 
Um, but yeah, just a lot going on for us Cancers. Anyways, I'm going to get into the card reading, Cancer. Put your cards on here. So just give me a few minutes to shuffle the cards a few more times. A lot of you could have had transformation when it comes to those in your relationships, getting jobs or situations, getting married. Some of you are about to get married. Some of you want children. Some of you have children. Some of you are going through a lot of transitions. So do keep in mind these are general readings. They may not apply to all of you. I do feel like either or, you know, we're all as Cancerians going through many changes and cycles in our lives. A lot of transformation. Putting the cards down. Feeling action oriented this month. There's a lot of forward movement, especially with the whole retrograde season. I feel like that really took a toll on us. All right. Might have to move the cards just right here to be a little bit awkward. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Um, already see wands. So. Cancers, a lot of forward movement, a lot of forward passion towards something of a new beginning, a new cycle, things ending and beginning, I feel like. Um, I do feel like you're done grieving. You're done owning your part to the puzzle, the pieces of things that you've had to endure, things of the past, the hidden things. You know, you are the mother. You took on a lot of things in the past, and I feel like it's acknowledging your responsibility to the mistakes in the past and I feel like you're done feeling sorry for yourself cancer and I feel like for some of you who haven't really got there I feel like you know this is your month to really shine and step up into your leadership role you know Aries is about the warrior Aries is about leadership I feel like you know I do feel like this month you're gonna start feeling a lot better you know you're gonna receive many blessings, many fulfillments that you've been wishing. Maybe it is pregnancy, maybe it is marriage, maybe it is a proposal of some kind. Um, I do feel like good things are coming. I do feel like clarity of some kind is going to give you what you need to move forward this month. And that's going to bring in stability. You're going to be filling to the brim, I feel like. You're going to be happy. I'm feeling happiness for you guys. Um, but I do feel like, Cancer, you've had to go through this grieving process. You've had to surrender to your ego. You've had to lay down a lot of swords and a lot of grieving to get to the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Cups. That's what I'm feeling, your wish fulfillment. And I feel like this month may surprise you or shock you of how good things are coming towards you. I do feel like that. Um, you put in a lot of time and effort into a lot of things um, that maybe you felt like were not real. Um, so yeah, you're moving forward in a good direction. And I do feel like you believe that, you know, what people are saying is true, those in committed relationship. And it's about moving forward in new love, new directions. I do feel like some of you cancers are kind of stuck in what you've been feeling painful you haven't moved on so I feel like those cancers who haven't really moved on from hurts and pains of the past I feel like this is your month to reclaim your power temperance you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Aries I feel like um I'm really feeling more of the energy the newness you know there has to be a balance to these situations in your life and I feel like this month is going to give you the OK button, the green light to go forward towards something that is going to balance out your situation. I do feel like there's a lot of fears that you need to walk through in order to gain your power, in order to gain not so much prestige. Um, I do feel like a lot of options, good options, are coming towards you to balance those situations out in your life. Um, yeah, it's about letting go of something old to start something new, something that hasn't been working out for you. And I think it's about taking on this role 
that the past cannot be your story. The victimhood cannot be your story. You need to move forward, Cancer, towards the lovers. Aw, my Gemini. <laughs> Yeah, so you can have the love that you desire, so you can claim the love that is waiting for you if you're single. I feel like a lot of these past things, past wounds, you've been licking them up, you've been cleaning them dry, and it's about uh, recovery. It's about owning the responsibility to your part of the puzzle. And I think it's about being real with yourself this month, too those of you who haven't really done this haven't really taken the work but i feel like when it comes to your relationships i feel like you're seeing people especially love connections for who they are and there could have been a past you know twin flame dynamic or past lover or past soulmate that you've had to do tremendous healing it could have been a karmic cycle that was not going anywhere you had a lot of options or you felt like in a relationship there was a lot of options that's why the tower car presented itself and i feel like you know the universe was trying to tell you enough is enough because these past situations you were in a situation i feel like cancer that brought in this karmic cycle and that's why the tower is here it's helped you recover for the most part whether it's the end of a tragedy, end of a cycle, and I feel like you're seeing the results of clarity this month. Um, let's see if we can get more clarity on a love situation, whatever that may be for the month of April. I was going to say October. Maybe something's in October. Um, let's see. The star card, you're getting your wish fulfillment, whether you're in a relationship or will be in a union. I do feel like there's nothing to worry, Cancer, when love is at hand, when the universe is working. So do um, be patient, be willing to accept your responsibility. You know, taking your power back, realizing that everything is working out to the best of what it's designed to work out whether you call it fate whether it's divine union i think this is what you'll be feeling in this love connection new love connection or simply old and reunite that love and passion they do see you in value i think this is something that you've really grown to become the high priestess cancer and i feel like there's a lot to be grateful there's a lot to um, truly see and i think you're starting to see the truth of the reality of through the matrix if that is concerning a love dynamic i feel like it's you know you're becoming this high priestess who understands her truth understands her value i'm gonna do two more cards You've had to in you've had to deal with your inner demons, I feel like cancer, like I said in the beginning, to really get to this place of the high priestess. And it brought a lot of deceptions, I feel like a hard truth, heart's reality, um, to overcome this death and rebirth so i'm very happy for you cancer i know it's been a long time coming to see your success see your successes rise to the occasion um but i do feel like a lot of things you're still gonna have to work on of course you know you're still in that transformation period so i'm really proud of you cancers hope you guys have a great april Bye bye